Hi everyone, it's Ginny. Um, <clears throat> it's night time at the moment, so I'm hoping with my little desk lamp it's going to look alright. Um, at the moment I'm decorating some envelopes and I just thought I'd let you watch along um, because I'm about to send out a swap and so I thought I'd decorate the envelopes as well and then I'll show you what I've got that I'm going to be sending. So I'm just starting with a, um, a homemade alcohol spray that I made from markers and um, rubbing alcohol. So I'm just going to spray this on the oops <laughs> envelopes. It's a bit of an experiment. I've sort of got an idea of how I want it to look. Oh gosh. It's a bit of a mess. Um, the nozzle stopped spraying, it started squirting. It always happens when you switch the camera on, doesn't it? For those of you that make videos, things go wrong. Oh well, just about run out anyway. That will do. <coughs> now, sorry, I'm just going to hunt for something in a drawer. Which of this cog template, stencil, whatever you call it. I'll just have to stop for a sec. That's a beautiful colour. Nice colour combination. Try the reverse on this side. That worked alright. I'm going to have brown hands as well as green from earlier when I was doing birds. A strong smell. Alright, just let them dry for a second. That one's alright. Do this 
side now. After I put the lid back on. <laughs> Ooh. Spray everywhere. colors together. I'll put some more on this one. It's a bit faded. I almost run out. Very pretty. Let's see this side. Too dark. It's really nice how the, um, the two different colours have blended in the spattering. It's very pretty. You can see that all right. I know the light's not the best in here at night time. Oops. Oh well. It's still all right. Okay. I'm going to go and clean off my hands a little bit and I'll be back. <laughs> Guess what guys? Permanent marker and alcohol are permanent. <laughs> it's not going to come off. It's probably not as dark as before but yeah. I think it's going to be with me for a few more days. Never mind. Alright. Now, next thing I want to do is add a few s flecks of some metallic paint, I think. I might get a um, very dry brush. If I can find the right sort. This one's very... I don't know if that's going to flick very well though, because this paint is um, very thick. No, oh, it's worked a little bit. It's not too bad. Oh, <laughs> get too close and you get a big fat blob. Can tell I'm not experienced at this. Could probably um I have a really harsh thick stenciling brush. I'll try a bit of water. Um but I don't know where I've put it. I've packed it away somewhere because I don't really use it very much. And so, yeah, that's not going to be much use to me. That's alright. don't know if you can see it at all. There's a few specks here and there, a few blobs. 
Mm, maybe if I wet it a bit more. Now I'm covered in this. Very grabby tonight. Um, maybe I should try a bigger brush. That might work all right. I'll quickly dry it off because I want to turn it over and I don't want that to get smudged, I suppose. go with a bigger thicker brush <laughs> that's actually worse than the other one it's not doing anything oh well maybe the brush is too soft Try this one again. I'm tempted to go looking for my stencil brush, but it means pulling the room apart, I think. So it could be anywhere. I can't remember where. Oh, I felt some hit my forehead then. <laughs> It's not very helpful. That's working a little bit better. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just clogging up the brush. This is hopeless. Mopus, mopus. Is it in this box? No, it's not in there. Oh well. So much for that. That one's not too bad. It's got a few specks. That one not so much. I've got a tiny splash there. <coughs> Maybe I will change tactic and use the end of a brush and just make some spots then. I love these metallic paints, they're really nice. Nice and shiny. This would look better if it were flicked, but that's how it is. It's only an envelope. <laughs> it's not a masterpiece. 
doesn't have to be a masterpiece, I suppose. I just had to change the batteries and um, I've had a change of heart. I'm going to do a bit of um, stencil with the metallic paint instead of all those splashes and blobs. So hopefully this will look alright. I really need to get some new paint brushes. I haven't got any really good ones. And I think I'm annihilating those that I already have. Oh well. Smudged. Oh well. <clears throat> um, I noticed that um, with these sprays, they look really nice and dark when you first spray them on. When they dry, they're a lot paler. I wish they'd stay darker. I probably need more of the actual marker ink and less of the alcohol I guess. That one's a tiny bit better. Um, what about a different, what about this one? I don't want to smudge that. dry. I suppose this is the really big test for the sound. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I'm speaking a lot more quietly being night time. Although I am standing up so I'm a fair bit closer to the camera now. But I will see when I do the editing. Put all the bits together. Where'd my paper go? I have such a mess in here at the moment because I've been doing the um, a different project working on birds today and um, I haven't put anything away I just started on this afterwards so yeah it's um, a huge mess that's all right. I'll clean it up after. Mm. So so. Not fabulous, but not too bad either. husband's um, out again tonight trying to get more sunset shots. It's after dark now though. He said um, he phoned up earlier and said that um, he might be late because if he doesn't manage to get a good sunset shot he'll take some more photos of um, the city with all the lights on. Because he got a photo of that once before and it was nice. You can still see the um, the city building lights shining on the water. Looks good. I might leave the back. I might just do that. <coughs> um, yeah. I think I'll leave it at that. I won't go 
too overboard with those and I'll show you now quickly make sure my hands aren't too bad because I don't want to transfer any excess paint onto my pages when I was changing the batteries I found out there's a tiny bit of blue paint on the camera shh don't tell hubby I'll be in for a lecture <laughs> I'll wipe it off later um, paper dry my hands and get these pages <clears throat> I've already shown a couple of you with photos um, and I wasn't going to do this on camera but I thought why not since I'm doing the envelopes I may as well show you because I'm, these are going to be sent out in the morning so I thought while I've still got them I will show them to you and um, the theme for this swap it's a deconstructed art journal page swap and it's um, steampunk in case you hadn't guessed from the cogs there. So this is one of them, the front page. And um, <clears throat> what I've done here is I started with a plain background of a, um, I mixed a green and a turquoise paint together, which came out really nice. And then in the background I just grabbed a um, plastic card, put a little bit of paint along the edge here um, with black then white and then metallic bronze and I just scraped them randomly across the page and then I stuck all the other bits on. I made these cogs out of some cereal box cardboard and stuck those on this is um, a hot air balloon, obviously, <laughs> but it's paper toll, so it's lots of little layers um, stuck together with that um, sticky foam in between. Um, I bought two sets of um, steampunk paper toll die cuts, they were called. I bought them online. Oh, when I did my very first shopping online to get some craft stuff which would be coming up for two years ago now and these paper toll um, die cuts sat in the drawer <laughs> all that time because I didn't really know how to use them or where I wanted to use them <clears throat> and then when this steampunk theme came up for this swap I thought oh that's perfect time to use them better than them sitting in the drawer so then I've added some um, flat back pearls and these, um, they're sticky, uh, switched off, um, what are they called? Sticky puffy stickers, something like that and they've got a metallic um, shine to them and they're really beautiful. I don't know if you can see that alright, I'll put photos at the end. So then we go to the inside page and for the background I've left the green and turquoise paint just plain. Um, I've put a few dots of gold paint here and there. Um, and I did those cogs that you saw me do for the envelopes in the metallic bronze. And then I went round with a um, black marker and sort of traced around them. <clears throat> um, this is a little die cut, I sprayed that with some green um, ink and the same with the butterfly there, so butterfly die cut. This is an image I got from a magazine of a clock or a pocket watch and I've got two gold leaves behind there and on this side I've done a gold clock um, stencil and the steampunk bird in, um, it depends which way the light catches it. Sometimes it looks funny like there's not enough paint on there and then when you shine the light on it it looks properly painted. <laughs> I don't know why that is. 
and then I've got silver on those bits. And he's got a key die cut key. So it's, oh, and these I've made these little borders in silver metallic paint. Sorry, sometimes get too close. I just stuck them on for a bit of added decoration. And that's the back page. Again, cogs that I made with cardboard. Another of that paper toll thing of clocks and cogs and some pearls. So that's the first one. Um, second one that I'll be sending out is same same sort of thing. Whoops, one of the sticky dots has come off. Lucky I noticed that. I'll put that back on after. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so that's one of those old-fashioned, or oh, what are they called? I've forgotten what they're called. You know what it is, one of those cycles, bicycles, whatever. I've got another one of those shiny, puffy stickers. Some dots. Inside page, very, very similar to the other one, only this time I've got... A um, what looks like a ship's barometer picture, magazine image. Butterfly, hot air balloon, which I sprayed with some of my homemade ink. And here I've got the bird, because I didn't have any keys left. I put an old piece of jewellery, um, necklace, broken chain, and a little, um, it's plastic but it looks like metal. Um, I don't know what you call that, a charm I suppose. Steampunk booty again, the same with the border and the clock. And on the back, an old fashioned father, grandfather clock, the cogs and pearls, yeah. Same thing. And this is the one I'm going to keep um, because I didn't like parts of it that didn't go as well as I thought they were going to. I can't remember now what it was, but yeah, this is a um, dress form with uh, wings on it and cogs again and those little sticky things I put two on because I didn't have a big one like the others. And um, <coughs> yeah, you can see it's got a um, grey key that you can't see that well. That's what I didn't like. I didn't like this. I put this on in the background and I thought, no, oh, it's just a magazine image and it was a flower and I just thought it looked a bit crappy so I thought, oh, I won't send that one out. I'll send the others out. It's got a clock centre and oh yeah, and the spray on the butterfly too didn't work. It came out a bit too dark. But maybe I'm just being a bit too fussy. <laughs> and there's the back. A couple of little clocks and a butterfly. So they're my pages for the steampunk. So they'll go with the envelopes that I've just made. And um, yeah, I'll stick some goodies in there as, like we normally do for each other. And I'm thinking of making some more of these as part of the goodies so that they can have cogs to use next time for something else steampunk that they do. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little bit of something else I've done. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Bye. Thanks for watching.